Okay, this is the first Dahlia order to arrive. Actually, that's a lie. I had one arrive uh, that was shipped way too early and actually frozen transit. So I did get a refund for that tuber. So there will be no strawberry cream in the garden this year, but my my pain has been alleviated because we have we have some new tubers here. I did open these up and have a look. Um, and they sent instructions along as well for how to deal with your tubers. But they have them all wrapped in saran wrap. So I'm going to unwrap them all and label them because I will lose these little labels. And I want to get them, even though these have all sprouted, every single one of them is... Uh, De has developed its eye and uh, they're pretty firm. This is probably one of the softer ones, um, but they all look really good and I wanna get them started growing. So I'm gonna get these labeled and we'll get them potted up into a tray. Okay, so like I said, everybody has sprouts. Um, they're looking really good. So we have here Coralie, Sandra. She's got a couple of eyes on there coming. We have Sir Richard, Narrows Pam. We have Caitlin's Joy. I think you can see there's a couple sprouts on her there too. And we have Petra's Wedding. This is cool. They actually circled the sprout. I assume it wasn't as advanced when it was packed up to ship. So I'm going to get these planted. Okay, I've got a tray here and I put some potting soil in it. And this is all that coarse stuff that I've been sifting out when I'm making my soil blocks. So I saved it because I knew I would have a purpose for it. Um, and I'm just going to probably just use half of this tray because I have six tubers here right now and I know there's more on the way. And I have made up tags to go along with my tubers and I'm just going to lay them out and kind of stick the tag in there at the same time. They don't actually need a whole lot of space on their own. I think I'll just lay these here for now. Actually, I might be able to get all six of them in one row. Maybe. And there we go. I'm going to cover them up with a little bit of vermiculite. I have here.
Now where I don't have vermiculite, I'll know I have space for as tubers arrive. I think there's two more orders arriving this week. There's at least one. So I will have space ready and available for them when they get here. Now I'm just going to lightly dampen this. I'm just gonna put some water in my hand and let it drip over just this section. And while I'm at it, I'll throw a little bit of water down the rest of the area. Okay, I've got a humidity dome. I'm just going to stick that on here. And I will set these in a warm, out-of-the-way spot. And we will let those eyes develop into shoots. And when it's time to pot them up, I will show you that as well. Okay, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you the tray that I potted up a couple weeks ago and how they're developing. So, as you can see, we have a few, I don't know if you can see that one or not. There are some sprouts developing and some of the ones that don't have sprouts necessarily yet, there are eyes developing. I don't know how easily you can see that. I did poke around and check most of these things the other day and there's only a couple that don't have prominent eyes yet. So I think, I think it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna put the cover back on these guys and they will go back over with the tray that we just laid out. For a second time, I hope you're having a good day. Thank you for stopping by and we will see you next time.